Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm gonna to show you how I got this look. It was a struggle to get here. I had full intentions of doing a full face of drugstore makeup to give you an example of bridal makeup or mother of the bride makeup and it didn't work out. Do I have to start this whole thing again? I'm not happy with this. I look better without the makeup altogether. So I took the whole thing off and then I started again. This time I did not use drugstore products. I used the products that I know and love and boy, I could really feel and see the difference. It was so much easier and I'm not dissing drugstore products. There are a lot of products that I really enjoy using from the drugstore. The eyeshadows in particular were giving me such a hard time and as soon as I started over again with the palette that I love, it was just joy pure joy. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meikle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist. I dip into fashion a little bit and I'm here with you guys just going through the aging process together. I laugh at myself often. I experiment. I learn. I make mistakes and I show it all to you. I hope that it will help inspire you to try new things and play. If you're not subscribed already, I would love for you to subscribe. 60% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. It would help me so much if you did, if you're interested at all. Be sure to ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. All the products that I use today will be listed in the description box for you. They are affiliate links and it does help me if you use them. If you don't, that's okay. I'm just grateful that you're here. And yeah, let's get on with the video. This whole time I've been thinking mother of the bride makeup, you don't have to be young to be getting married. So I thought I would do a nice romantic look, keeping in mind that this has to last all day. I'm gonna start off with the Hyper Real Skin Balancing Hydrating Serum. It's almost out. This is my second bottle. I'm using it because it's actually like it's hydrating enough that it can be a moisturizer for somebody with normal to dry skin in the summertime. When it's hot outside, I don't need as much. I am gonna put a little bit of sunscreen on. I've tried the sunscreen under everything and it doesn't affect my makeup. This is a Centella Hyaluseco Water Fit Serum. It's an SPF 50 PA++++. It sits really nice under makeup and it doesn't affect photos as far as I've seen. This is acting as my moisturizer and my prep and my sunscreen all in one. And you can see there's no white cast. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow first, let this sink in. And I've got a couple of different palettes out. I'm not sure exactly which one I'm gonna use. My eye was drawn to the MAC Connect In Color. This is the Unfiltered Nudes. It is one of my favorite palettes. It's so easy to blend. It's very elegant. It's super pretty. And of course, there's the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. And this too just has every beautiful, elegant mm, wedding color. This is perfect for a wedding, actually. But I've used it a lot. I wish you could tell me which one you wanted to see. You know what, I think it just makes more sense to go with this one. So I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. I'm gonna use Painterly Paint Pot by MAC and even out my skin tone. Since I'm going for that more romantic look, I decided to use Painterly because it's more on that neutral pink versus the yellow of Soft Ochre. Just makes more sense to me. Either one's good though. If you find a texture like that drying, you're probably better off to go with like a Fenty eyeshadow primer or I know Lisa, one of my friends from here, she uses the, I'll think of it, I'll put it here. <laughs> you might be better off with something that's a little bit more hydrating. This works well for me. Okay, I'm gonna dip stone in with fair. Just tap them back and forth. I'm gonna be very cautious right now because, oh, this is why. The video that I tried to film was all drugstore. What a difference in formulation. A palette like this is so worth it to me. The frustration I just had creating an eye look with drugstore eyeshadows, oh, I almost gave up for the day. But look at that, like no effort, zero. Yeah, worth the money. And I think that's why some people might get really frustrated doing their makeup because they're not using good quality products. Like I almost gave up and I can make just about anything work. It didn't look awful, but it didn't look good. My eyebrows look dark. <laughs> I just tinted them. They always feel so weird the first day. I'm gonna go in with the BK Beauty 211 and now just go right into stone without dipping it into fair.
The smaller brush is gonna keep it more concentrated where I want it. See, everything happens for a reason. I needed to do that back to back so I could remember and tell you, eyeshadow is not the place to save money on. You can get a lot of really nice foundations in the drugstore these days. Eyeshadow is tough. I'm gonna put a little something on my lips. I have one of these in all areas of my house. Sigma was very kind to send me a few of these. I've got one in my, uh, beside my bed and one in my purse, one here, and I really like it. That's better. I'm gonna go into Vogue. This is a refer number 12. I like to use this brush in the outer corner. Keeps it very, you know, detailed and it doesn't fluff the product all around. Not that these are dusty, they're not. And whatever's left, I'm just gonna bring that up too. So when I think of wedding makeup, wedding guest makeup, if you're a bride or mother of the bride, I always think of classic, timeless, natural. I never wanted anyone to look different. I didn't want their fiance or their future husband to go, whoa, who's that? Of course, it's completely up to the person who's wearing it, but that's my idea of what I like to see. That's kind of my style on the daily anyways. I like seeing the person first before the makeup, especially on a special occasion like that. And then I'm taking my first brush, which is, I didn't tell you, a A503. And I'm gonna blend everything together. So much better. I think I'm gonna have to attempt lashes today. Ah! I don't know if you remember that debacle. That was an interesting video. I think I went over a little bit further on this side, so I'm just gonna bring that over. I'm definitely adding a shimmer, not that one. Ah, that one. There's this one too. And this one. Which one did I, it was this one, the pink. I'm actually gonna go into tender, that one right here. And I just wanna deepen this up a little bit. Blend again. I'm gonna go directly into fair and brighten that up a touch. And then that same blending brush, just going over it. Looks like a lot in the beginning, but once you blend it all out, it all comes together. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This color is, I think three? Yeah, three fair. I'm gonna put some on my brush and just apply it right where that light color is. What this is gonna do is give that little shimmer something to attach itself to. Like that. That's a new idea I've never had. You know, sometimes shimmer eyeshadows go on and then suddenly you see it down on your face. I don't like that, so hopefully this will solve that problem because it has something to stick to. Went a little too high right here, so I'm gonna deepen that up a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna take a stiffer brush. This is a BK Beauty 209. I'm gonna go back into fair again. That's the lighter color. And highlight under there a little bit. I'm gonna take a little refer brush. This is a number 23. See how small that is? And I'm gonna go into silhouette and just get right into the lash line here.
just to make the lash line look thicker. And I'm going to attempt lashes, so this will help hide the band. I warn you now, I'm not that good at it. I can do it on you, but on myself, I find it hard. I think it's just, you know, it's getting harder and harder to see. Soon I'll need a 20 times mirror. Does that exist? Okay, I'm gonna go onto my face. I'm gonna use Mac Studio Fix. This is N6.5. Their colors are so much better now. I never could find a color that matched me so much better. Before I do that, I'm sorry, I forgot. I wanted to try something. If you're new here, you may not know that I do love to experiment. Even though this is a little bit of a tutorial, it's always a learning process for me. I like to try new things and I learn a lot and I hope by doing that you learn too. So I'm gonna do a little underpainting. I put this on my hand yesterday. <laughs> it was on there forever. And I'm thinking that this would be great for a wedding. So if you don't know, this is the Milk Makeup cooling water jelly tint. I can't see what color this is, but I don't think they had the pink in stock, and I think I would like that better. Anyway, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna underpaint with it anyway. So I'm just taking a brush. This is a Beely brush, and I'm gonna kind of go heavy with it a little bit. I look ridiculous right now. It's okay, it's all gonna work out. So my plan is that this is gonna peek through. Let's hope it works. Oh my goodness, I just got made a mess. This is a look. Actually, it's not bad. I mean, I don't know what it looks like on camera, but on my monitor, it doesn't look bad. In my mirror, it looks ridiculous. I'm gonna do a little bit of underpainting with my contour as well. This is Westman Atelier Face Trace. Is that what it is? It's the mini size, and this is in Biscuit. So I'm gonna really stripe it on there. I watched Scott Burns yesterday on an Instagram video and it's scary what he does. He really goes in and he goes lower than a lot of people, but that's how we learned. He doesn't go with the fads, you know? He does what works. It looks like this would feel like a lot, but it doesn't at all. Just take this up a little bit. I was trying to find something light in my collection. I don't have a ton. This isn't light enough to do what I'm wanting to do, but whatever. I'm gonna use my IT Cosmetics Dual Ended Brush. This is dense, but it's a little bit more flexible because I really wanna dust it lightly over. Magic, yay, it's working. Yeah, I was scaring myself. So when you underpaint, you wanna go a little heavy handed because you're gonna go over it. So you wanna be able to see it. Everything's going so much better. I'm just gonna tap this out with my sponge, make sure there's no excess product on there and that it's all blended together. I'm gonna use Hourglass Vanish right there. And it's looking a little dark, right? but that's okay because I have darkness there and I can always make it work for some reason. Famous last words, hopefully it will work. I'm just gonna put it right there though. If 
feel like I actually need lips on now. I That's how long this has been. I'm using Makeup by Mario Smoky Pink. It's not far off from my lip color as far as tone goes. Do you like this romantic look? Let's try Midtown. Just a thin layer of this though, because it can get kind of um, waxy. Is that the word I'm looking for? I'm so all over the place. I'm sorry, guys. I have four little sections there. Let that get tacky. That's what I notice. I am not the most patient person. All right, let's see how this goes. Much easier to do this without mascara on. Did I get it out far enough? One looks lower than the other, is it? Look at how messy my hands are. Oh, that's the blush. Don't get that blush on you. Is that what it is? Yes. That blush doesn't come off. You've gotta be very careful. I'm gonna use Huda Beauty Peach Pie, and I have the mini, so I'm just gonna pat this on my little triangle puff here. Just right there. Oh, I gotta brighten up underneath my eye. Back the train up. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Huda. I may be sorry, I'm not sure. Again, I'm just playing. Will I be sorry? Maybe. This might be too thick with those two formulas together. Probably should have used was the Fenty Beauty concealer over top of the hourglass. That would have been a nice brightener. But anyway, we'll see how this goes. I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush. Yeah, that can get in there better to blend it. I'm gonna use Cleo Kill Lash for sure. If you think you're gonna cry at a wedding, this stuff will not come off. And if you have a hard time with mascara staying on your bottom lashes, this will be fine. See, this is what is weird because these are perfect and this is not. That looks better. Why did you go back? Don't touch it when it's good. I think I should go out with my husband tonight. These lashes are looking good. I just feel like I need to fill a couple holes. I have these. These are the Ardell Dura Lash Short and Medium. I am getting far too particular about this. Thank you for sticking with me this long. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, 
Maybe that's too much for that eye. No, that looks good. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit much in there. Hmm. I really like the way this look is lifting my eye up, so I'm not going to go too far down with my shadow. I'm just gonna go into this one first. So mesh first, just to give that shadow but not create too much depth. Maybe a touch of stone on the outer corner. That's as far as I want to go with that. I really like the way this looks, but I'm gonna dust a little bit of bronzer just at the top. Maybe just like, just a whisper, a whisper. Just perfect the brows a little bit more. I normally don't fill them in that much, but I'm finding because I just tinted them that the holes are very obvious. I have to deepen my skin up underneath a little bit to look cohesive, I think. Let's try and get this to stay. I don't typically worry about this, honestly, because they're just short. <laughs> They're quite short and stubby. So even if they get out of place, they're not, you know, they're not crazy bad. This is Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. All right, I'm gonna go do my hair and I'll be right back. Now, if I were to top this with a gloss, I don't know that I would top it with a gloss or if I would top it with something that has a little bit more stick. I really like this color, so I don't wanna change it. I'm gonna use a YSL, I can't see. Just a little. Yeah, it just adds a touch of moisture. Let me show you what it looks like on its own. So it's very sheer. It's not as thick as a lip gloss would be or a lip conditioner or oil. It's hydrating, adds the shine, and yeah, it just feels luxurious. I think I've been sitting here for four hours now. <laughs> it's been a long time. I did cut my hair before I got on here though, so it wasn't all makeup. I fully intended on getting dressed up to look like I was going to a wedding or a special event today, but my area is, it looks like a tornado hit it, and I've been sitting here for far too long, so I apologize for that. I did intend to get out of my robe and into something more special. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I love getting to know you. Thank you for sticking with me. All the products that I use today will be listed in the description box for you. Did you know that even if you don't buy the product through my links, that clicking on the link actually helps me. It shows the brand engagement from my links and it tells them that I have an audience and that you're thinking about it. So that actually helps me. I didn't know that. I learned that from Jen Love's reviews and I thought, oh, that's interesting. I gotta let everybody know that. So if you're thinking about getting them, it even helps just to do that. It helps support my channel and me. And if you don't, that's okay. I'm just so grateful that you're here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.